hello 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 and welcome back to my channel if you are returning if you are new welcome so in this video um i want to talk about uh, a little bit about mental health so um <clears throat> i have been battling depression for a while now for about two two and a half three years um so over the last month and a half i have really been feeling bad i have really been like in this really really dark place I don't know why. I don't know why I'm in this dark place. I don't know how I got there. I don't know how to get out of it. It's like, it's just so hard for me to shake it. It has definitely been a struggle. <laughs> and yes, I do. Um, I have seek help. Like I, I, um, I take medication. Um, I see a psychiatrist. I see a social, social worker, <laughs> um, on Thursdays. Um, I have did group therapy. I have did like grieving counseling um, because I lost my grandmother last year. Um, so I did grieving counseling. I have did TMS, which is, um, I can't remember exactly what it stands for. Some little fancy medical term, but um, it's basically, it's magnetic brain therapy. So um, I've done that as well. Um, and I'm probably going to do that again because it's a six week program and um week four is when i lost my grandmother so was it really beneficial i don't know i think so but like i said week four i lost my grandmother so you know i'm i'm, I'm grieving and all that so i'm not even really sure how you know how effective that was so i will try that again but um just <sighs> listen it's it, like everything is a struggle it, everything like i'm just unhappy with everything everything that's going on everything around me and i don't even know why like i don't have the best life in the world but i know i got a great life i mean um my kids my grandkids they're healthy like <laughs> you know what i'm saying what more can you ask for right there you know um but i mean i just had a birthday last week thank god i made c42 um but still it's just like i'm just unhappy um, all the way around and I'm not sure why uh, you know everybody everybody keeps saying oh you walk around like you don't have a care in the world or you know you got all this great stuff going on for you you should be happy you're getting married next year you know it's easy to say I should be happy but and most of the time I do I, I portray to be happy but um, deep down I'm not <laughs> I don't know why um, I'm not sure what it is but Hopefully I get out of this. So this weekend, I told my counselor yesterday, because I know I haven't did a video in a while, but I told her yesterday that I had a plan for this weekend, and that is to um, be be more productive, because I haven't did anything. Like, I barely do housework. My house look a mess. Like, I'm talking about everything I do, it's like it's a struggle to do any and everything. So I do, like, the bare minimum every day. <laughs> Everything is a struggle. I'm talking about from getting out of bed to taking a shower to brushing my teeth. Look at my hair. I haven't even did my hair and I don't know how long. And last week was my birthday and my fiance came into town. And let me tell you, I mean, I did a little twist out. It turned out pretty good, but normally I would go get my hair did. I didn't get my eyebrows did. I have my nails did because my sister came the week before and she treated me to a pedicure for my birthday. So while I was there, I went ahead and got my nails did as well. But um, for the most part, it's like, Hey, what you see is what you get. I'm just, I'm just winging it. Like, and I feel like, you know, that, like, that's, that could be part of my problem too. It's like, I probably need to go get my hair did, get my nails did. You know, when you look good, you feel good. Because, um, I don't even like the way I look, honestly. Like, I used to have a mirror, um, on the top of my stairs. And I would always take pictures in front of this mirror. Um, it got knocked down by accident. But I didn't even put it back up. Actually, I think I gave it away. Um, but it's like, I hate the way I look now. Like, I just... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just very unhappy. So I'm trying to get back to that, that happy place. So, um, I did say I was going to do a few videos this weekend. I'm going to try to clean my upstairs carpet, my stairs and my hallway carpet. I'm going to pull the weeds outside of my flower bed because it look a mess. <laughs> I'm going to try to do a little decluttering this weekend because my house, my house is not dirty. It's just, um, cluttered because I do, you know, I can't stand to have a dirty bathroom, a dirty kitchen. So those areas are, are, are pretty clean, but my house is very cluttered. Um, because one thing that I do 
when I'm really feeling bad is I go shopping. So I buy all kind of stuff. I'm going to show y'all guys what I bought for my wedding here soon. But I buy all kind of stuff. And I just have stuff everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. It's like walking over stuff all the time. So, um, I definitely got to stop that because I'm in the military and we don't make a whole lot of money. So I don't know why I'd be out here shopping like I'm rich. But, um... <laughs> That, that's what makes me feel better. That put me puts me in a happy place. Um, so, but this weekend, I do have a few things that I plan on doing. Um, I went and picked up my new prescriptions. I had, well, not new, but I had to renew my prescription because I didn't take my medicine for a few days because it's like I was over it. And one thing, um, one thing I don't like about these medicines is, you know, like, it may work for something, but sometimes the side effects are, and we all know that, like everything has side effects and sometimes it's horrible. So one of the medicines that I take um, causes you to gain weight. And I put on like a lot of weight lately. And in the army, if you know anything about the army, you have to be within the army body fat standards. You know what I'm saying? So um, I've been in the army 16 and a half years, 16 and a half years. And in July, was now I, I've always been overweight by the army standards, but I've always been able to meet the uh the weight, you know. I'm overweight, but I can still meet the army standards. Well, in July, that was my first time ever in 16 and a half years failing my tape test. So I said, Okay, I'm not gonna take this freaking medicine because it's making me gain all this weight. And I don't, I don't have time for that. I already feel like as a woman, as a black woman, like this day ain't going, um, this, this army weight standard thing, like it's because the way they measure you, the way they get your body fat percentage, your measurements, I feel like a lot of black women are at a disadvantage because we are, we have big hips, you know, like we do a lot of us. We, we, Hey, it's genetics. <laughs> So, but that was, that was my first time feeling, ever feeling, um, my height and weight. And, um, I just took it upon myself. I said, I'm not going to take any more of this medicine. Um, but you know, over the last few weeks, I realized I need it. <laughs> I really need it to like, you know, keep me calm, to mellow me out, to keep me from having them crazy thoughts and stuff like that. So, um, enough about that. Let's 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 go to a happy place for a minute. So, um, I'm still doing a lot of shopping for my wedding and my bridal shower. Which my bridal shower, I may have to change my date because um, I have to like plan everything around the, my the army and all this kind of stuff. And I was supposed to go to school. Um, I was supposed to be in school already. Actually, I was supposed to graduate. I think this week coming up, but shit happens. Oh, excuse me, stuff happens. So, um. My school got changed, you know, I had to get a new school date. So I may have to change my, change some stuff around, like with my bridal shower, my bachelorette party, all that kind of stuff, because, you know, I got to work around, work around the army's time. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all a few things that I purchased um, lately for my bridal shower and for my wedding. So my bridal shower is going to be, I'm going to have a tea party. It's going to be a lemon themed tea party. She found her main squeeze. I seen that on Amazon and I just fell in love with it. So I like that. So my colors are going to be yellow and white. So I got this serving tray from TJ Maxx. This was $14.99 and it's really good. It's uh, handcrafted in Portugal. Um... So they have a lot of handcrafted in Portugal stuff, and it seems like, I mean, it's really good quality stuff. Right? Yeah. So I also got um, a smaller little thing. This one was $9.99. Okay, I'm TJ Maxx as well. And then I have this um, this little bowl. I guess this is for dips. I'm not even sure what you call these, but I got this from TJ Maxx as well. So those are my TJ Maxx goodies. All right, and I have this that I got from Hobby Lobby. This cake stand. This is part of um, not a cake stand. What is it? A uh, cupcake tray? Maybe I don't. I'm not sure what to call. It. But it's part of the table decor. The original price is $59.99, so I got it for um, $30 this week because it's 50% off. So I have two of these. Um. I have these two chargers so my colors for my wedding 
um, are black, red, and silver. I have silver chargers already, but I got these two for me and my fiance, and these were $1.99. And if you don't know, anything at Hobby Lobby that has the yellow, um, your price sticker, um, is never part of the, um, the half-off sale and stuff like that. Um, I also got this, uh, I took this out the package already because I really wanted to see what it looked like. But I got this out the Christmas section. It's a fabric mesh garland. And I'm probably going to use this like as a table runner or something. It's, it's fairly thin. Um, I like it. I don't know. But, um, I just, I grabbed one because I wanted to see what it looked like. And I took out the pack and I like it. And again, this is part of the Christmas section. So the Christmas stuff is 50% off this week. Um, and the original price is $7.99. So I think that's a good deal. Oh, and I have fabric in here. This is, um, this is not for my wedding, of course, but this is, um, just bullet fabric that I'm, I think I'm going to make some Gracie's Corner fabric with this and make my granddaughter some, um, little pants or something. Um, and I just grabbed this on a whim <laughs> because the lady was putting it out when I um, walked in. And this is just like um, um, fabric remnant and it's the faux grass. And I paid $6.27 for this. And it's 29 inches. So it's almost a yard and I paid $6.27. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I'll probably use it like for a backdrop or something. I don't know. Some kind of background. So I bought these mirrors. So I was going to make my own. You know, they have the round mirrors at the Dollar Tree. So I had thought about getting a mirror, you know, do the styrofoam, put the bling wrap around it. But I seen these. And this one was $7.99. This smaller one, it was $7.99. That, actually, that's the medium size one. Um, this large one is... Uh, so the large one, this is a... I don't know if they had one larger than this, but this one was $19.99. I got two this size. And one of them is, this one's, this one's $19.99. The other one is six, says $16.99, but they're going up on their prices. So, he wouldn't give me both of them for $16.99. I was so fucked. Because he's like, you know, they're changing prices, and they probably, that was probably the last one they had of that one. So, but whatever. I still think that's a great deal versus me buying all the supplies from whatever and then putting it together. Um, Because... It was $10 for that because it was 50% off. And these are part of the candle section. And I got this one as well. Um, this is the smaller one. It's $5.99. So these are part of the candles. And these will be on sale next week. 50% off. So I have two of each size of the candles. And then I also have... I have these... Um, candle holders um so they they are um they have three different sizes so the small one is $7.99 the medium size one is $8.99 and then the larger one is $9.99 and these are part of the his and hers collection so they are 50% off this week. And um yeah, so um I got these little trays from Dollar Tree. So I'm thinking of doing something like this. And probably putting flowers around the bottom and putting water and floating candles. I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna do, but I definitely thought about doing that. So again, these trays came from the Dollar Tree. So, and I have two, I think I got two of each of these um, candle holders. And then I also got these, I got like six of these. So, I'm not even sure what these is. I'm going to say these are candle holders. <laughs> I don't know, but it's part of the fall fall tableware. So they were $2.99. So that was 50% off. Or it might have been 40% off. I can't remember. But anyway, it was on sale. So I got these. I got like six of these. And again, I'm really not even sure what it is. I'm probably going to use it as a candle holder. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just showed y'all the trays. I got the Dollar Tree. Um I got these marbles from the Dollar Tree as well. These are like my sister's wedding colors. So we're going to do something like that. I'm not sure what. And then um, 
I got this little ring holder. Um, that's my one of my sister's wedding colors. So I got that for her. And I feel like I bought her one of those already. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I did. But oh well. And then I have these little candle holders. They're like the ones from Hobby Lobby. Except they're not as round at the top. Um, or as wide, shall I say. So I got these from Dollar Tree. They had three different sizes as well. All of them are kind of like sticky. Had like sticky residue on there. So I'm going to have to soak those in water. And wash those off. So. I got that. And okay. So. Now I'm going to show you guys what I got from Etsy. So. I am going to bling some Converse. So I have these different, um, I purchased quite a few. I've never blinged shoes before. Um, so I am going to bling shoes. So I purchased different um, little rhinestones. And I got these from Blingy Thingy on Etsy. Um, one of my friends on Instagram, she sells, um, she sells um, these things. And I was going to buy some from her. When I was on her website, I wasn't sure which ones to get. So I reached out to her and asked her, and she said those are too big for shoes. So she re actually referred me to this um, to this uh, shop on Etsy. So I have those for the shoes. Um, and I also bought this, um, this from Amazon to help with the shoes. You know, the little picker thing. And it's got little tips two little tips right there again i have never blend shoes before so we shall see and i have so i'm i've seen where some people use uh eileen's glue eileen's so i got this and i also got e6000 this is probably the one i'm gonna go with i'm not sure um and i have seen people use tacky glue but i don't i didn't think that was like as strong like i have a strong hold i'm not sure and I also got the ribbon. This is going to replace the shoelaces in the in the uh, shoes that I'm going to bling. And this is just um, a satin ribbon. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's on sale this week. Uh, original price is $3.99, but it's on sale this week. And I also got these little plastic things. Um, I don't want to rip this bag open. But these are to put on the tips of the of this you know how on shoelaces how to have the plastic tip to make it easier for them to go through the holes in the shoes so that's what these are for i got these from amazon and oh let me show you all the shoes so these shoes i got these a few weeks ago from right room shoes so i'm going to i'm gonna do shoes for my entire bridal party um for the reception so my colors are black and red and silver so i'm getting them all black converse i have two pair right now um, so I'm getting them all black converse and I'm going to do the silver around the top and then I'm just going to do black. I don't know if I'm going to bling the entire shoe or if I'm just going to do the back and you know, little, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it's going to, I'm going to do black. Um, I thought about putting red in it, but then I'm like, nah, I'll just stick with black because I want them to be able to, um, wear these shoes again. You know, they can wear them. I mean, they're just going to be black converse. They can wear them. So I have these and these were... $45, I think. Let's see. Yeah, these were $45 or $40 with my Medicare discount. Because I got these out of kids. <laughs> Hope I can get all my girls to out the kids section. I don't know. And then these shoes, these Converse, I got these for my sister. I'm going to bling these for her for her wedding. And these are the hot top shoes. And I got these from Kohl's. And these were $75. Um, so again, I'm not sure how I'm going to bling these. I, I know I'm just going to, I'm going to do the toe. I might do, I'm not going to do the tongue of the shoe. I'm not sure. So I'm definitely going to do the toe in this part. And I'll probably bling around this converse sign. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do it, but that's how I'm going to do it. And you see the little plastic tip on there? That's what, um, that's what these are that I got from Amazon. So, yeah, that's what that is. So, that's all the things that I have now for my wedding. So, I should probably go put all this stuff up somewhere because my grandson will be home shortly and my fiance is on his way here. So, I don't want this stuff all in my living room. So, until next time, y'all, um, if y'all are struggling with anything, you know, just reach out to somebody, get help. 
to get help, you can reach out to me. I mean, I feel like I'm, I don't know. <laughs> but you could always reach out to me. But if you're struggling with anything, you know, just, just reach out to somebody. It's always somebody out there to help to help don't don't struggle in silence i did that for a long time and i think that's why now i'm having a hard time because i struggled for so long and now it's just like <laughs> i don't know but anyway i don't want to ramble on because today is one of those days where i'm like i feel like i'm not at a high like uh like like my my like you know a real high happy self but i'm today i feel better than i have felt all week so you know i want to keep myself going up so until next time y'all have a great one